Hello, my name is um, Alina Mihaela uh, Nicuță Precul and I am a lecturer at the Gheorghe Asachi Technical University of Iași, Faculty of Civil Engineering and Building Services. The paper that I am presenting is uh, Transboundary Approaches on Natural Hazard Risk Management. When we talk about natural hazard, we must take into consideration their extended diversity and the, uh, and the intensity. Their main characteristics, uh, characteristic is the surprise factor, the fact that it is difficult to foresee the hazard uh, moment of uh, time, uh, the manifestation and its intensity, even though current technology has a series of tools useful to approximate uh, main potential characteristics. Hazard risk management is currently a topic of high interest and extreme debate due to an increased exposure to the de um, devastating natural hazards all around the world, which demonstrates the impracticability and intense force of the nature. The international statistics talk about a dramatic increase by 93% in the last 40 years of hazard risk and of people living in risk areas. If we analyze the incidence of natural disasters using satellite observation data on 40 years of exposure, researchers identified several major natural hazards. The floods, the earthquake, volcanoes, tsunamis, tropical cyclones, um, drought, wildfire and landslide. And the list can continue. At the uh, international and national level, there are several institutions and organizations that that continuously analyze and make statistics on the manifestation of hazards per type, intensity, degree, and so on. Considering the main types of uh, hazard manifestation, uh, we hereby present some of the statistics provided by United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction for a uh, time uh, interval 1997-2017. By far can be observed the fact that the floods are being the most significant hazard manifestation accompanied closely by storms. In percentage, we have a percentage value of 43.4% uh, uh, for the floods and 28.2% uh, uh, for the storms. The earthquake is uh, closely by, um, even though the percentage of manifestation is uh, only 7.8% for the earthquake. Although, although this type of hazard is uh, from the point of view of the uh, frequency, um, mm, uh, the storms, even uh, the floods, even though this type of hazard is uh, the first from the point of view of the frequency, there are in, in the classification some other uh, hazard that uh, with a more reduced frequency um, can be far more uh, destructive and more unpredictable, um, can be associated with uh, and can be associated with significant um, uh, casualties. Uh, statistics on the hazard risk show that the loss of lives and economic impact is more extensive and severe than previously co uh, considered. Daily Mail uh, brought to, to us the conclusion that one in three people is exposed to the risk of natural hazards. Still, the distribution of this hazard all around the world is inequitable. Certain areas are more affected than other areas. Um, and in this context, some countries already started to change their strategies and the policy is related to the natural hazards. For example, United States and Japan restructured their policies, the plans and the strategies in hazard management, invested time, effort and money to reduce the consequences of this finance. European also, uh, Union also created some uh, joint strategy and action plans, one of these being the Hyogo uh, Framework for Action, Managing Risk to Achieve Resilience, a 10-year plan for uh, building the resilience of na nations and communities to disasters. Uh, this uh, framework was uh, adopted by uh, 168 um, member states of the ONU, um, which uh, decided to participate in um, action priorities with the purpose to manage the uh, to make the world safer in the face of natural disasters and to consolidate the resilience to disasters 
uh, ONU, Institute for uh, Environment and Human Security, transposed the predisposition for natural uh, disasters registered at national level in a world map of natural hazard based on exposure. According to the statistics, Romania is positioned on the second, uh, 82nd place in a total of 173 countries uh, from the point of view of high risk of exposure to natural disaster, um, in, uh, similar with the Republic of uh, Moldavia, which is our close by uh, neighbor in the eastern part of Romania. The paper evaluated the actual natural hazard risk at the eastern border of the European Union, presented a, sit, uh, uh, a case study, bit, uh, the case study between Romania and Republic of uh, Moldova, with the objective to bring up to bridge up the gap between uh, the two countries as related to the emergency action plans, strategic approaches on the natural hazards. Um, this topic addresses the disparities identified between the two countries from the point of view of prevention and monitoring processes, management and emergency actions associated with the natural hazards. Uh, from the United Nations Office of Disaster Risk Reduction uh, database, we have uh, extracted a disaster and risk profile for both from Romania and from Republic of, uh, for Republic of Moldavia. Uh, as related to the frequency, mortality, and economic losses. Uh, also, we have um, extracted a 10-year average analysis for 2005-2014 on the events, death, and the economic losses. The frequency uh, can be observed, the frequency of the um, um, hazard manifestation, the mortality, and the economic uh, losses. Here also the first position is um, uh, belongs to the floods, also from the point of view of the frequency, the mortality and the economic uh, losses. As compared to Romania, we have the Moldavia profile, disaster and risk profile, we are uh, a little bit changed um, as compared to Romania. Also the floods are the main um, um, uh, hazard manifestation. Um, uh, but also here in a higher percentage we have the drought. The um, uh, analysis that uh, is performed here uh, because of the reduced number of the earthquake in this area doesn't take uh, this uh, into, con uh, into consideration. Only the main, um, the other main manifestation. Um, in a probabilistic risk uh, analysis, um, we have two, uh, two elements that were detailed by the, the meaning, the average annual loss by uh, hazard, um, which was taken into consideration in the next uh, um, um, slides, which represents the expected loss per annum per, per year associated with the occurrence of future dangers, assuming a very long observation time frame. This is the average annual loss and the probabilistic risk, which provides an overview of the estimated losses gu guiding the prediction of future loss. Um, the hazard distribution to average uh, contribution to average annual loss. Um, we have uh, here for a comparative for Romania and for Moldavia also is very relevant here. The percentage of uh, floods as compared to the to the earthquake um, for for the for the countries. Um, here the, we have a, a map uh, with the, the Romania and Republic of uh, Moldavia to make tra very transparent the uh, end of the European Union uh, um, countries uh, with the non-European Union.
development and the culture of prevention. Republic of Moldavia is uh, facing delays and confusion in the intervention procedures associated with the hazard manifestation. Uh, which describes an urgent need for evaluation and prevention mechanism uh, uh, for hazard risk. Uh, we uh, must mention um, a report from the World Bank Sustainable Development uh, Department on uh, Moldova, which is also current uh, today and uh, which describes the fact that Republic of Moldova uh, needs to review the disaster mitigation by institution, develop intersectoral preparedness and risk reduction strategies, create map mapping and just databases, improve the risk and vulnerability approaches, establish linkages between the threats, improve emergency preparedness, um, really um, early warning and communication, uh, since uh, emergency communication and disaster management information system are quite deficient in Moldavia and uh, re uh, emergency response equipment is um, uh, antiquated or absent in several areas. Uh, also, it has national capacity for hazard mitigation and management. Mm information flow and planning and uh, so on the main conclusion drawn by the um, uh, by the present day, um, by this paper and which is open to discussion further discussion is the fact that hazardous management at the eastern border of european union is characterized by significant disparities between uh, european union country and non-european union country on the prevention strategies plans and mechanism available uh, resources technological innovation education and training these disparities are a major problem in the context in which both border uh, regions are similar from geographical um, point of view and are exposed to similar hazard risks. Thank you very much for, uh, for listening to my presentation and waiting for, the, um, for your intervention. Thank you very much.